January 2nd, 2023, Marcus Giuliani here. 2023, Paul Lopez at Paul Lopez at Mile High Clerk at Denver Elections, YouTube handle by Marcus Giuliani. When you understand how artificial intelligence works and how you can now pull stuff and extract stuff from the cloud in regards to the actions of those who are very important elected officials. And when you think about um, Paul Lopez, who calls himself honorable, that's the first clue that something's wrong. Honorable Paul Lopez. He's not honorable. I can guarantee you that. Fucking 100%. Whoa. Who calls himself? Even Mayor Michael Hancock doesn't call himself honorable. And these two are thick as thin. I mean, these guys are best friends, man. This is how they, this is how best friends work in the elections of Denver. And I'm going to show you. Kelly Bro, PDF. That's a campaign tracking number that gives you, bam. So when you do a PDF, when the city does a PDF, it goes real high in the ranking. And see, I believe they've already picked their mayor. This is how they do it. And we've been indexing them. And I hope Paul Lopez goes to fucking jail, man. And all you people that are going to vote this way to, to elect this girl and you guys doing all this stuff, I'm just letting you know there's other people watching now. And I don't need to be mayor because what's coming, fuck, who'd want to be mayor if they don't have any plans? They're going to just bloviate. What's what's Lisa Hare going to do? But I'm sorry, you only voted for me because I'm a, I'm a woman and I'm black and I'm a lesbian. But I don't know any fucking thing else. And I'm sorry, all the criminal reform laws that I was took part in brought our crime rate down just like my neighborhood I was born in. Because I've never been anywhere else to know anything else. And i just been bullshit in Denver because that's what Denver does is they just go with bullshit. Fuck, Ian Thomas DeFoya, tracking number. Look at that, denverinc.org. That's Denver neighborhood. See how it's corrupt? They're all in on it, man. They're fucking, these guys are going to fall hard, man. Here's the tracking. Bam. There's his stuff. Ian Thomas DeFoy. It's, it's not easy. Oh, that's where he lives. It's not easy um, to be an international advocate. Mm. Fuck off, Ian. Piece of shit. Look at this. PDF for Marcus Giovanni. None. And you know the tracking here? SOS. Do you know how many times I've been fined? At least 15 times. Why? Because it's corrupt. When I do it, when it's before, but when I do it on the day that it's due, it doesn't work. Or my password changes. And I've kept it all together, man. When you understand, there's a PDF. That's when I sued um, Stephanie O'Malley. Remember that? Webb and Stuhl. Joe Webb, her uncle. The brother of Wellington Webb. Wellington Webb's daughter, Stephanie O'Malley, who sits on the governance board for the University of Denver. And they have it so that the elections are non-partisan and the candidates can be party affiliated. It's a fucking lie, man. That is not the spare amendment. And you're a lawyer, but you see how this is? There's no PDF for Marcus Giovanni. None. See? So what's good for Ian Tafoya, who sits on the machine, the ballot machine, count the ballot um, committee that makes sure that the machines count the ballots correctly... I'm telling you, man, there's PDF files there, but those are my, for something else, but there is no Denver. There is no Denver. None. And if there was, it would have been up there. There's Denver. There's a summary of the last elections. There's Paul Fiorino, fucking worthless. Look at me. He's the biggest humble bragger than anybody because he goes home and he looks at himself in, on the internet and he just makes love to himself, man. That's all I can think of, because if I hear him tell, watch, he's going to go, I'm the only candidate that ran for, I'm the only, dude, you have no fucking ideas, bro, shut the fuck up, you and all your fucking clown bakes, man, you guys are all causing Denver to become something that you guys don't 
really want to know. But when you look at the PDF, where's my PDF? P P P PDF. It's not there, folks. We'll go to the second page. Maybe maybe it's just in the background somewhere. See, there's the Ken Simpson write-in and all that kind of stuff. I don't believe any of that fucking shit, man. Because what's his name ran? Uh, that that guy that died, uh, a a Ambrose. Another. He's not alive anymore, so I can't. I'm not going to disrespect him, but he was the biggest tool of them all. And then the next one is uh, Dottie Lamb. She's worthless. And the other one is Susan Barnes Gelt. So we keep going. So this is it, folks. This is what you're voting for. Oh, what about Lisa Herod? Does she have a PDF? The, the lady that has no allegiance only to her own blackness and her own womanness and her own lesbianness and all the laws that she's passed has helped uh, uh, destroy the city beautiful so she can brag to everybody that she's the first woman, first black, first lesbian to be mayor with no fucking ideas. And in fact, when she uh, um, is a... Uh, uh, assembly person, she, um, all her laws, all her criminal reform has actually put us, but see, since nobody like the media, piece of shit, garbage, um, they don't talk about it. So this is how they're leaning Denver to slaughter and they don't care why, cause they get that fucking money from the fair elections, all those media people who do you think gets that fucking money. And if they don't spend it, they just keep it. So that everybody forgets about it. Next thing you know, it's funding other people's campaigns and they're all, but there it is folks. And here's the, here's the girl right here that, that the city and county of Denver has already chosen to be their winner. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up just like that, the way it is. Even, even Westward, that, that stinky woman, uh, Patricia um, Calhoun. All these people have been indexed, man, for a long time. And we're now showing judges and law enforcement how to do object-oriented programming and how to find this kind of information when people talk. And I just think you're a disgrace, Kelly. You belong in that fucking ship with, with all those media people that have been indexed and you're all just garbage. And Kelly, bro, you're a democracy slut. And your red lips and your bubbly personality, you're fucking old. Just like... Uh, Tammy Dore and all you fucks and the Denver Downtown Partnership. I fucking walk to work. I smell urine. I see the writing on the wall and I see you guys getting out of your limos and your private cars and your private security. You can't hide from artificial intelligence and he's coming and she's coming because it has no gender. And all your he, she, was, he, her, all those fucking diversity and uh, inequity. Those are all figments of your um, imaginations and your bloviated bullshit for the last 60 fucking years. So, Kelly, there is a God and he's coming for you. And it ain't the Lord Jesus Christ. It's AI, biatch.